everyone and welcome back to Phonics with Felix. Now today we are going to be continuing to learn all about phase one. Now in this video we are going to be exploring alliteration and initial sounds. So first of all, Felix, what is alliteration? You're not sure? Well, alliteration is when the sounds at the beginning of the word sound the same and used repeatedly in a phrase or in a sentence. So for example, fantastic Felix. I bet you liked that one, didn't you Felix? Yeah. And my name's Leanne, so let's think of another word with the same sound at the beginning. L little Leanne. That's a good one, isn't it? Especially because I am quite little as well. Now, in our sound box today, we have got some pictures. And when you see the picture, I wonder if you can think of another word with the same sound at the beginning. So shall we do a few together, Felix? Right, let's have a look and see what our first picture is. Ooh, it's a Now, watching at home or at school, can you think of another word that has the same sound at the beginning of cat? Oh, can you think of one? K -k 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 -k. Clever! Oh, I like that one, Felix. Clever cat. So let's pop the clever cat on my board. Right, are we ready for the next one? Felix, what have we got next? Oh, what about this one? It's a picture of a t -t tiger. Can you think of an example of alliteration that sounds the same as t tiger? Have a think, what word can we choose to sound the same as t -t tiger? Have you got one, Felix? What do you think? Terrific tiger. That's a great example of alliteration. Let's put that on my board. And we've got a couple of others. Oh, Felix, what's this one? I like this one. It's a picture of a snake. Now, can you think of any words that start with the same sound at the beginning? Snake. Have a think. What do you think? think we should choose. After the count of three, shout out a word you think would sound the same at the beginning as snake. One, two, three. Oh, there's some great words. Felix, have you thought of one? Yeah. Okay, are you ready? So what example of alliteration can you put with snake? Slimy. Oh, slimy. Okay, slimy snake. Another great example of alliteration. There we go. Now, another game you can all play at home is using your own name. Why don't you have a look around the home or around your classroom and collect lots of different things that have the same initial sound as your name. And what I mean when I say initial sound is the first sound you can hear in your name. So Felix, What's the first sound, the initial sound you can hear in your name? It is, it's a sound. So Felix, you have got yourself a little sound bag and you went around earlier, didn't you? And you found lots of different items that have the same initial sound as your name. Should we all have a look? Ooh, excellent, okay. So in Felix's bag, let's have a look. What have you got, Felix? Oh, not again. You have got a frog because, of course, Felix and frog have the same initial sound. What else have you got in here? Oh, this is interesting. It's a f f f feather. Felix, feather. They both have the same initial sound. Oh, this one's a nice one, Felix. It's a f flower. Oh, is that for me? Thank you, Felix. Flower, another same initial sound. Oh, one last one. It is, of course, it's a fork. It has the same 
initial sound as Felix Fork. Maybe you can have a go at making your own little sound bag, finding things around you that start with the same sound as your name. Have fun everyone and see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.